Hello, welcome to another video. Let's quickly solve this integration problem and it is ln of x squared. And it may have been written in another way, um, this way. It may have been written as the integral of ln squared of x. So whether the problem showed up this way or showed up this way, it's the same thing. It's like writing sine x squared or sine squared x, okay? So don't get confused when you see this. Now, whenever a problem like this shows up, it doesn't look like you know what to do. I don't know what to do. So I try to make something that is complicated, less complicated by doing a U substitution. And U substitution always, not always, but almost always makes life a lot easier. Let's get into it. So let's do this u substitution. I'm going to replace ln of x with the expression t. I'm just going to write t. So I'm going to say let t be equal to ln of x. Okay. Um, if I differentiate both, oh, what does this mean? If t is ln of x, this you might always have to do every time you do so u substitution involving natural log. Um, if I take the e of both sides, you notice that e to the t will be equal to x. This is important that we keep it. Because when I take the derivative of this, dt, if I take the derivative of this, it's going to be just 1 over x dx. And remember that the mission of u substitution is to replace dx. We can no longer use dx because we've said let t be equal to ln of x. So I want to replace this dx. So what I need is I cannot have anything in terms of x anymore because I will no longer have dx because I'm going to replace it. So what I need is something in terms of t. So how can I write x in terms of t? Well, I know that x is e to the t. So this means that dt is 1 over e to the t dx from here. So if I isolate dx, it's by multiplying both sides by e to the t, so dx will be equal to e to the t dt. So now I'm ready to do my integration. So I'm going to go back to this equation or here. Let's just do this. This is going to be the integral of ln of x squared. What's ln of x again? It's t. So it's going to be t squared times what is my dx? dx is e to the t dt. So it's e to the t dt. So now I have a new problem which obviously looks easier to solve. Why is it easier? Integration by parts. Every time you have a product, remember a product is either u substitution or integration by parts. Now this does not allow us to use u substitution so we do integration by parts. And what do we do? Following the Liate instruction, we'll choose to differentiate this first and then we integrate this. Remember, Liata says it is logarithmic function. There's no logarithm here. It has to be inverse trig function. There's no inverse trig function. It has to be an algebraic expression, which we call polynomials. Well, this is a polynomial. So this takes um, priority. You have to differentiate the A. And then you have T, which is trig function. There's no sine or cosine. And then the last thing you need to worry about is the exponential function. So we're dealing with this and this. So therefore, I am not going to go the long way. I'm just going to do the short way using the t table, okay? di table, rather. So I'm going to differentiate, and I'm going to integrate. I will differentiate this, which is t squared. I will integrate this, which is e to the t. But I'm going to write plus, minus, plus, minus on this side. Okay, this is all I need to do here. The reason I like doing this is I don't have to write a lot and you can clearly see what you're doing. So if you differentiate t squared, you get 2t. You differentiate again, you get 2. You differentiate again, you get 0. Okay, you keep differentiating until you get 0 when you have a, um, a polynomial or an algebraic expression or until you get a product that you can have. Let's integrate e to the t. It's just e to the t. e to the t e to the t. Well, I'm going to stop here because if I multiply 0 by e to the t, 
it gives me zero and I know how to integrate zero. Actually, that's when you stop. It is when the product this way is so simple that you know how to integrate it. Okay, <clears throat> so now let's go back here. Oh, we could have stopped here actually, but we don't need to. It's okay to always get to zero. That just makes your work a lot easier. So how do you pick up your answer? We know now that this answer, the integral of t squared e to the t dt will be equal to, this is your first answer, it's going to be the product of t squared and e to the t, so we get t squared e to the t, then it would be this next line, taking note of the minus, minus 2t e to the t, and then we go this way, plus 2t, sorry, plus 2e to the t. So as you can see, we stop there because the last line is going to be, let's say there was something here, it's going to be minus the integral of 0 times e to the t, which is a 0, 0 dt, but we know that 0 dt is 0. So our answer here is basically just this, and this is 0. But now, you can factor out e to the t. So e to the t can be factored out, so you have t squared minus 2t plus 2 plus c. And that's it. But remember, the question was based on the variable was x, not t. So don't leave your answer this way. We have to go back here and replace e to the t. We said e to the t was x, and we said t was ln of x. So we're going to go back here and say this is x times ln of x squared minus 2 times ln of x plus 2, plus c. Okay, um, you know what? I can move this two up here so that my answer, the fancier way to write it, will be x times ln squared of x minus ln of x squared plus 2, plus c. This is what we're looking for. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.